my name is uh, Arif Neki. Um, I have uh, two hats I wear. I am the Strategic Partnerships Advisor for the United Nations System in Kenya, based at the UN Resident Coordinator's Office. And I also um, am the coordinator of the first global uh, pilot of the SDG Philanthropy Platform, which was launched in Kenya in November 2014. The HLM2 brings together global discussions for the first time in Nairobi around the issue of implementing development in a way that's resource efficient, but in a way that builds partnerships, collaborative partnerships. We know that uh, the SDG agenda is an interconnected agenda. We know that goal number 17 talks about partnerships. Uh, prior to the adoption of SDGs in September 2015, there was a conference in uh, Addis on financing for development. And it's clear from that conference that we need to bring all hands on deck to implement SDGs globally. An estimated $4 billion that's required to implement SDGs annually with probably about a $2.5 billion gap. Besides the funding resources, we need the intellectual partnerships. So the philanthropy forum discussions we've had today, um, and we launched the first uh, event as the SDG philanthropy platform, are exciting because it was about catalytic philanthropy in Africa. How do we bring foundations and trusts and philanthropic partners to work with government, to work with private sector, to work with the UN system, to work with other donors, as well as private sector and civil society to ensure that we perforate the silos and we bring resources together and we have some level of collective impact. And philanthropy can bring some strong advantages around innovation, around the risk appetite, around its agility to move fast. The technical intellectual resources in philanthropy are very strong, very strong social capital around the CSOs that philanthropy funds. And how can we bring Kenyan philanthropy and global philanthropy to work together as well? How do we cultivate a group of Kenyan philanthropists that will help us sustain our work in future as Kenya rises up the middle income country ladder and as ODA and, and grants taper off? So I think we have a very exciting agenda. The government of Kenya through the United Nations Development Assistance Framework has welcomed the participation of philanthropy and private sector in Kenya in these discussions. We were able to bring philanthropy and private sector to State House a few weeks ago as part of the United Nations Development Assistance Framework Steering Committees. And President Kenyatta has championed very clearly the importance of philanthropy and private sector in national development. So we're very delighted to, to, to be part of the HLM group. The challenges we need to address collectively are A, how do you perforate the silos between sectors? How do you create some level of common understanding between private sector, philanthropy, civil society, government, the UN, and, and other donor players? How do we collectively develop an agenda around the SDG implementation in Kenya that rises above individual branding, that creates some level of collective impact? How do we make sure that the voices of those that are oftentimes in remote locations or oftentimes marginalized communities are also heard in this effort. Because the SDGs are a universal agenda. We all own the SDGs. And for the SDGs to proclaim that we want to leave no one behind, we have to make sure that there are no pockets of isolation and poverty in Kenya that we are leaving behind. So the other challenge is how do we go to counties and areas in Kenya that are oftentimes quite inaccessible? How do we support counties in very remote areas like Northeast Kenya, for example? How do we create cross-border programs like the United Nations uh, Masterbit cross-border program in Ethiopia that also create peace and understanding with neighbors to ensure that development is sustainable? So I think some of the challenges are around fostering partnerships, ensuring collective impact, ensuring sustainability between beyond short fiscal cycles of, of, of donor grants, and ensuring that civil society, philanthropy, and private sector actually come to the for and actually take the lead on ensuring the longer term sustainability of some of these development impacts. And I think we're uh, in Kenya, we're, uh, we're off to an excellent start and we're very optimistic about the way philanthropy and private sector has responded so far. We've created a Kenya philanthropy forum with a number of like-minded partners, like the East African Association of Grant Makers, Aga Khan Foundation, 
uh, the STG Philanthropy Platform, the Kenya Community Development Foundation. So we now have a network of foundations that can systematically engage with the UN and with government. We have alliances in private sector that can also be roped in. And we can work much more closely even at the county level with each of the county integrated development plans.